Welcome back to Technic Force Learning. Today, we're gonna learn how to set up an amazing Yelp profile. Yelp is still the cornerstone of online business review directories. As a small business, your Yelp business profile gives you direct reach to consumers looking to buy what you sell. Other business directories existed before Yelp, and many have arrived after filling niches. But, Yelp remains the biggest and the most used. Yelp for Business Owners gives you the opportunity to create or claim a Yelp profile for your business. Then, when potential customers are searching for a store or service like yours in your area, your business's page will appear among the search results. Yelp for Business Owners gives you, a business owner, access to both free and paid tools to connect your business to consumers using the Yelp app. Yelp has several tools to allow you to customize your business page. Some of them are free, while others will cost you, but you can use a combination of these tools to make sure your business is getting the attention it needs while staying within your business budget. Yelp is a great place to reach local customers. If you're a company who does business locally, then Yelp is a great place to be. Even if your company does business internationally but some locally, a Yelp profile will help connect you with the local customers. If you're a small business who only deals locally, then you definitely need a Yelp profile to help local customers find your local business. Yelp allows local customers to rate your business and leave a review also. It's an awesome opportunity to collect customer testimonials and let potential customers see exactly how good you are at what you do. Your Yelp business profile is the perfect place to showcase your work and build trust with your audience. When you set up your account, in the business information section, you'll first set up your basic information. This part is important because it's how people find you. Yelp search is based mostly on location. You'll want to fill in at least your company's city, state, and zip code. You'll also want your complete business name for when people who know your company are looking you up. Next up is your contact information. Make sure you have a phone number so people can call you immediately and your website too if you have one. If you don't have one, then you can do things like put a link to a social media profile or even better, you can use it to build your email list. Next up is choosing the categories for your Yelp business profile. You only get three categories to choose from, so choose wisely. The more specific you get with your categories, the better. You do still want to stay relevant to your business though. If you ever choose to advertise on Yelp, your ad will be shown on other Yelp profiles in the categories you selected. When you add categories, Yelp makes it pretty simple by just typing in a keyword and it'll come up with a list of suggested categories. You should avoid using any first level categories as these are too broad. Second level categories are more specific therefore will help customers find your Yelp profile better. The specialty section of your Yelp business is your place to shine. You get to write up to 3,000 characters for the specialty section plus history and meet the business owner. Yelp does combine all three of these in the 3,000 character limit but you should use most of it in the specialty section. This is your chance to tell people what makes your business special. You can tell customers what makes your business special and what you specialize in. This section is a great place to share with potential customers the rich history of how your company got started. Not every company has been around a long time, but that doesn't matter. There's usually more to a company than one day getting an idea and doing it. Share the details of the history even before the company became official. This doesn't have to be a matter of fact either. Feel free to let some personality shine through. This is your chance to showcase photos to customers who view your profile. The photo gallery begins with a contact card including the map of where you're located. After, though, is the photo gallery which is randomly sorted. You can't choose what shows first unless you pay for an upgrade, so make sure all your pictures are equally awesome. 
be sure to use large beautiful photos for your Yelp profile. Each photo can have a unique caption, but with a limited number of characters, use as many characters, you can create a unique caption for every photo. Text and photos are indexed by Yelp and Google. The more descriptive you are, and more keywords you're able to naturally include, the better off your profile will be. Once you get your profile completely set up, ask some of your previous customers to write you a review. Don't push that they write anything specific though. You want to leave them out so they can say no. You also shouldn't encourage them to write a specific type of review. A review will get your Yelp business profile started by building trust with others looking at your profile. A Yelp business profile with no reviews will get much fewer views than a profile with even one review. Expect negative reviews because it happens, but it's not the end of your business profile. If you get a negative review, don't get defensive and start arguing with the customer. Accept the negative review, but make sure that you answer it. Try to figure out the issue and work towards resolving it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.